let's do the bad. Let's let's do a little Bloomberg. Well, we're gonna do Bloomberg on assassination, and then we'll do his Judge Judy announcement. And then maybe Matt, can you get into the uh, get into the Discord, uh, check out some questions. But first, let's do the uh, let's do the. Um, we have the bad opening package. But it looks like it could be something that will be uh, not good. Believe me, not good. No good, really bad for you. But it looks like it could be something that will be uh, not good. Believe me, not good. <laughs> does he not know what the word, does he, is, is that not in his vocabulary? Wait, wait, can we do, do we have actually handy the Richard Wolf test? Could we do that with Matt? The uh, sound, the other uh, Trump sound clip, and then he could guess what Trump is talking about. Oh, yeah. Let's. I'd like to do this, Matt. Could you? Could yeah, you uh, indulge me. me? Give it to me. All right. I'd so, like to yeah, see. The game We're, here is to determine what Trump is talking about. Okay. Yeah. What is Trump talking about here? Bringing the jobs back. I'm just going to assume. <laughs> Possible. Bad deal should have never been thought of. <laughs> I don't know. There's one. one. There's one. This is, by the way, this is all the same okay. thing, so you only have one thing to guess. All right, go. And where it should have stopped is at the deal standpoint, where they thought about it. <laughs> and then here's three. And they had the worst cover-up ever. Worst cover-up ever. And it should have been stopped. It should have been stopped. At the, at the, from the standpoint of the deal. From the, the standpoint idea, of the deal, the it should have been stopped. Is. Uh, is it the Iran deal? <laughs> no. One more guess. The Paris Accords? <laughs> the murder and dismemberment of Jamal Khashoggi. <laughs> <laughs> bad deal. It was a bad deal. It was certainly a bad deal for Jamal Khashoggi. I think we can all agree. <laughs> it should have started. Here's, all right. All right. Here's the first pitch. Here's our first offer. You, we cut your head off and we put you in a suitcase. Uh, I'm going to have to say no to that one. <laughs> Wait, now that you never know. take the first offer, Jamal. <laughs> never take the first offer. Don't take the come to our embassy to change your wedding status. Yeah. Wait, wait. Can you play all three for him again so you can hear in these three clips which part that he's saying is he the most actually clear and definitive about? Like in the sense of being the most personally offended. By right. Him. Here we go in order. All right. Bad deal. Should have never been thought of. And where it should have stopped is at the deal standpoint, where they thought about it. All right, ads. And they had the worst cover-up ever. <laughs> Obviously, he's mad that they <laughs> fucked up the cover-up. Really, the worst cover-up ever. <laughs> what are you doing? You're in Turkey. You don't think that they have your place bugged? Erdogan's a smart guy. Look, he knows body doubles. Erdogan, they like the Muslim Brotherhood. <laughs> you guys, you don't like the Muslim Brotherhood. Of course they got your stuff tapped. Why wouldn't they? They're not your friends. <laughs> There's a family called the Banano family. <laughs> Knew how to do cover-ups. Friends that, with dad. Honestly, that was pretty stupid. I mean, <laughs> that was, that was a bad it's like Turkey is not in any way. They're not like, oh, they're cool. No, no. It was, that's not a cool place to uh, abduct, yeah. uh, mutilate while he's alive yeah. and dismembered a suitcase yeah. in a diplomat's garden, yeah. a world famous journalist. No, it's for turkeys, unless uh, it would be a Kurdish journalist right, done yeah. by the Turkish government. Then they'd be like, yeah. whatever. <laughs> they'd be like, well done. Yeah. Well, Mike Bloomberg is a lot like Donald Trump, except he does, well, he provides a different sort of entertainment. What I love about Bloomberg, honestly, is he is just, look, when he is the mayor of the city, terrifying the working people of the city and people of color and destroying, you know, Occupy, like the Gestapo, it's not so funny. But just as a billionaire um, wasting his money, although he's obviously gonna run third party, uh, we'll see how that plays out. But I think basically just wasting his money. His irritated entitled bitchiness Ugh. is kind of funny oh yeah and he's just such a he's a guy you could imagine if he didn't have a 50 billion dollars getting viral from somebody filming him at a bagel stop or that, something getting mad at the at the cashier oh my god that's the i i well i i did say cinnamon <laughs> here is uh mike bloomberg getting huffy and bitchy about bernie sanders calling something what it is, namely the assassination of General Soleimani. This morning, Senator Sanders classified the killing of Soleimani as an assassination. Is that a terminology that you would agree with? Um, I don't know in the context that he said it, who he was talking about, 
but I think it's probably inappropriate. I, if he was talking about killing the general, was that what he was talking about? Uh, this is sorry, a guy who had a lot of I'm sorry to do a Sam Cedar here, but uh, I don't think he knows who he's talking about. <laughs> the general. Speaking of like Mr. Uh, if, Competence. Uh, I'm sorry, but he provides low cost auto insurance <laughs> to people all across this country. And I. <laughs> I I'm talk a very good that. friend of the general. Yeah, Honestly, wouldn't. give me Bloomberg and Trump debating just to argue about who's better friends with the general. <laughs> I mean, I, me and Shaq, we 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 played we did pl we played horse. It was me, the general, and Shaq. Shaq general, picked me up and had me uh, give, do the slam dunk. The general made fun of how short you were. Well, the general and I were in Barbados together, talking about how you're tacky. <laughs> we laughed about how long your ties are. <laughs> Is that what he was talking about? Uh, this is a guy who had an awful lot of American blood on his hands. I think that's an outrageous <laughs> How thing How about to you? Say. What do you got, dude? <laughs> Nobody that I know of would think that we did something wrong in getting the general. The question <laughs> is, the what did we do afterwards? <laughs> but not that this guy was an enemy of America who killed Americans. And we have a right and an obligation, I think, to go after him. And we did. What is the proper way to speak about his death? What is the proper v v verbiage? Yes. I don't know. I mean, get a dictionary and take your pick. The guy <laughs> killed a bunch of Americans and we're going to worry about the language? I don't think so. I mean, I'm actually kind of with Bloomberg there because that's a yeah. stupid fucking question. That's true. It just, it just shows you just how ill-equipped the press is to deal with any actual stories of any significance. Especially the political press, of course, more than anyone because they're just absolute... Uh, downer cattle in the in the journalism world where their job is to just stand there and listen and say well he said that thing so when you've got a situation like this and you have to like s create a political story around it, it's like well he said assassination I don't know about that word you, what <laughs> word would you use if General Soleimani were a tree what kind of tree do you think he would be well, well, certainly not an oak tree. No, not a mighty oak <laughs> not a mighty and majestic oak tree which I've done so much with my money to protect. One of those trees where you where you where you're walking past it and you don't realize it's got those low hanging branches and one he hits you in the head. <laughs> That's who he was because he hurt a lot of Americans. And I'm so sick of this shit. He was a paramilitary yeah. leader. Yeah. I mean, he was I, also he was literally there. Do. He was in Iraq at the invitation of the government and a diplomatic fucking passport. Oh, yeah. That's oh, well, and he well, got by killed. By the way, I, this latest trip is because the Saudis finally were like, I guess Trump isn't going to do this. I guess we need to have a back channel. And then the back channel arrives and Trump say, actually, I'm going to do it. Yeah. I mean, it's it's breathtaking. It's the disgusting. opposite of 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 saving anything. It's only making things more dangerous and horrible. You just watched a Michael Brooks show video. Subscribe to get them all. Why wouldn't you? Don't be foolish. Click subscribe below and become a patron as well. Patreon.com slash TMBS. Thanks, everybody.